So from the title of the video, you already know what this is, but let's uh, check out this box that I got from Toman. And uh, I'm curious to see what a cheap Harley Benton guitar is like, because I've seen lots of videos and they seem, you know, almost too good to be true. It seems so small. I don't know why. Why did I feel like this was supposed to be bigger? <laughs> Cheap cable. Not gonna use it. Uh, key for the the neck, the truss rod. Packaging is quite good actually. Considering, you know. Okay, finally got the tag off. This guitar is a bit more yellow than I thought it would be from the pictures. The pictures seem a little bit whiter. Not that it ma matters much at all. I mean, I, I don't care. But Jazz 3, only pickups, pickups, only picks that I can use. Not in June. Interesting. So what I can see so far is that the pickup switch is like left, right, not up and down which is a bit weird. So if I'm playing, I want to like get do it like this up and down. It feels all right. And I was tuning up the guitar and the tuners feel a lot better than I expected. I expected them to be pretty shit, but the action is a little bit on the higher side for my taste, but I will just fix that. I mostly interested in just the, the fit and the finish. So my suspicion is that the intonation will be a bit off. So I'll probably fix that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the action. I'm gonna, you know, do a little bit of a setup for my preference and then I'll, then I'll plug it in. See what it actually sounds like. The, the pots are nice and like firm. They're not loose. They make this weird sound. So they're, they're small and cheap pots, but that's to be expected. These pickups are some Roswell brand. I think it's just the one that Harley Benton or Toman makes. I think it's their brand or something. So if the guitar plays good, and if I am able to set it up so that I can enjoy playing it, then I would probably take uh, the pickups and put some other ones in something nicer. Yeah, I hope it's good. So uh, I'm gonna tune it up properly, you know, do the little, little fixing and uh, plug it in and see what it sounds like. It's good. So it's been a while since I filmed the unboxing and kind of first impressions of the guitar, which I got, I think, about a month ago or more. But since then, I've played it a lot. Uh, and, and it's been in one of my videos since then, but I haven't made the follow-up where I'm kind of going through the tones and like what the guitar actually plays like and sounds like. But I can tell you that this thing has exceeded any of my expectations because the guitar is dirt cheap. It's like, I can't even remember, but the price, I'll put it up on the screen here, but the price is so low. And what you're getting for that price is just ridiculous. The finish is good. The neck feels good. It's just got this kind of, I guess, kind of a satin-ish kind of coat on the back, which feels nice. The fretwork is, it's not perfect, but it's 
it's pretty good. I mean, for the price, you can't complain, to be honest. You just can't complain about it. The tuners are fine. They're not high quality, but they work and it stays in tune pretty well, to be honest. It will stay in tune fairly well, to be honest. The action for me was a little bit higher than I wanted, so I lowered them just slightly. The intonation was not perfect, but very close. It definitely playable right out of the box. Like most people that are happy to buy a guitar at this price, they will be happy with the way it's set up right from the, from the factory. So the only things I've done to this guitar is I've lowered the action a little bit. I've made fine adjustments to the intonation. And for my taste, I took the pickups and I lowered them just a little bit because I felt they were a bit too close to, for, for my taste. You might like it. Other than that, these, this thing just sounds so good. Let's go through a, a quick kind of clean, slightly dirty tone. Well, not dirty, it's got just a little bit of a slight breakup to it. So this is the bridge pickup. The guitar is bright and, it, and you can hear it when you play it like acoustically. I don't have much experience with these types of pickups because these are like Jazzmaster type pickups, which are kind of like, they're not P90, but they're not humbucker and they're not single coil. They're, I don't know, maybe someone can educate me on what they actually are. I haven't looked it up, but they're bright, they're spanky, but they're quite clear. And I was honestly expecting them to be a lot muddier, like the low end, that it would be very, you know, kind of like just play like a chord. And I was expecting it to just kind of mud up and just not be clear and, and anything. So, and not to mention, it just looks amazing. It just, oh, I love the look. It's just so cool. For a cheap guitar, it doesn't look cheap. So let's go through some slightly dirtier tones and then go into like heavier tones and see what this guitar sounds like if you want to play some heavy stuff because that's kind of where my interest lies mostly. Sorry, I just touched the mic. I think this guitar actually plays pretty well with heavy stuff. So let's see what happens when I go through a slightly crunchy tone and then to something a lot heavier. So what we have here is just a classic JCM 800, slightly driven. Nothing crazy, you can put more drive if you want, but you know, if this is kind of like, you can you can pick lightly and get less drive or just pick really hard and get more drive, so. Okay, let's find something heavier and see what happens. Okay, I found a heavier tone. This is an SLO 100 type tone with a tube screamer in front. Very basic, just gets the job done. So I've dropped the guitar to drop D. That's throughout this video, which has probably lasted about 20 minutes now and I've played quite a bit. I haven't tuned any of the strings except for the drop D right now. But other than that, it just pretty well in tune still. So let's play some pray. Let's play some heavy riffs, and uh, this is mainly going to be kind of like every time I die bass stuff. I just think their riffs are just so good. So 
One thing to keep in mind, since these are not humbuckers, um, they are in the single coil realm of pickups, I'm, I believe. Pretty sure, because you can see the, the poles on the, on the covers here. Uh, they do hum a little bit, so it's just to be expected. So I'm going to turn up the volume and you will hear what the hum is like. And there's a little bit of a noise gate, so you can hear that it goes up when I move the strings. But, I mean, if, you have, if you're have, used to a Stratocaster, regular one, then this is nothing new. And I think all jazz masters are like this. But, to be honest, I don't care. So I'm going to try a different type of tone, which is still kind of in the same uh, type of, you know, genre. It's the, still the every time I die type stuff because I love that stuff. So uh, it's just because you can hear the, the high end, I guess, kind of spankiness of the pickups. You can hear it in this tone. So it depends on the amplifier. Some of them will um, handle that high end thing quite well but some others will accentuate that and make it even louder so in this specific tone that i had before in the riffs the you can hear it quite well it's like I mean, I think it's cool. It will give you bite and clarity. It's just some people might not like that. So I'm going to go through another tone and show you that you can you can work with this uh, just depending on the rig that you have. So the previous tone was an SLO 100, kind of like cranked with a bit of preamp drive and a tube screamer in front. This tone is a GSEM 800 set up in a similar way where you have the master turn up quite high and a a bit of a preamp crunch happening and then a tube screamer to push it even further to get more drive. <laughs> Where I think this guitar shines is with the clean tones. Like the, the sound that I had in the beginning, I'm going back to that one. I'll show you what's happening here because I've got this AC30 that's cranked and uh, not cranked completely until it distorts, but it's like, it's almost on the edge of breakup. So like that sounds fine, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this mystery pedal here that I'm making a video about soon and I'm putting it in the front to just give the tone more, just a lot more. Let's just say that more, yeah. So before, after.
All right, this guitar is good <laughs> for the money. I mean, even if it was priced like 50% higher, it would still be a good guitar for that price. It's like, this thing is way above its class in my opinion. I don't know what's happening with these budget guitars, but they're getting so good. It's like the, the compromise before used to be like the setup and there used to be some kind of like, they never felt good. I've played a bunch of these cheap guitars from since I was playing guitar initially about uh, when I was 13 or 14 years old, which is almost 20 years ago. And uh, at that time, these budget guitars, they were terrible. Like everything was bad about them. Nothing was good. They just looked like a guitar, but didn't play like a guitar. Now they look like, you know, a decent guitar and they play like a good guitar. And uh, so, I mean, this is just my first Harley Benton. I've seen people talk about them on forums and like on Facebook and stuff. And I've seen some people say that they've had like a bad one come in. And some people said that they've like tried a few ones and like one has been good, but the other one's been bad. So I guess the, it's a bit of a lottery with quality control, but I think like the newest ones are just getting even better and better. So. You can't go wrong. If you're thinking about, if you just want a jazz master that's cheap, you can get up, get this one. I was gonna get a Squire Affinity jazz master and they just were completely out of stock everywhere and, and it's just a pain to get them. So I canceled my order, I bought this one and I couldn't be happier. And uh, I honestly think I'm not gonna be changing it at all. Maybe I'll change out the pickups at one point, but I'm happy with them as they are. So I guess tuners could be an upgrade, but it's I'm not in a rush to do it. The nut is fine. Just everything is good, you know? If you're thinking about it, get it. You can't go wrong. Yeah. If you if you have a Harley Benton guitar, let me know what uh, what your experience was like. Was it was it good? Did you get a good guitar or did you get a bad guitar? If you liked the video, consider subscribing if you want and uh I'll see you in some other videos. So uh Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.